process dot get processes and what this does is it gets all processes available and puts them in an array so for int i equals zero if i is less than uh, my process dot length I believe is that right yep um, i plus plus simple for loop there nothing special then we say if um, if my process um, i dot main window title dot length is greater than one so we're saying if it has a window then we add it to the list if it's not a window we don't add it we don't really care about it so you don't have to have this line here uh, if you want to just select your process it doesn't really matter you don't have to have a line uh, but I prefer to have it this way the items dot add and it hasn't failed me so far which is always a good thing my process dot main window title what have I done oh shit I dot main window title yep and I believe that is it for that and that should have been hopefully all that we were forgetting so let's run it again we really hope we don't have any more mistakes but we may have anyway so click on this and you should have a list of things now feel free to increase the size of this uh, font obviously because I'm trying to rush this I'm not going to do that so click here select your calculator and click on the button and first thing that happens is you get a freaking stuck screen which is a bad thing start off with um, so that is a bad thing so let's figure out what we did wrong here so I'm gonna go C sharp uh, I believe we had the crash here so I'm gonna figure out what was wrong with this and then tell you guys okay then even though I'm not sure this is a solution it probably is um, as usual I delay things and I forget to work on them so we forgot to do our pain event um, which we're gonna do right now so hopefully this will fix our if not we'll go back and try and find another way around it so that variable that we declared at the top the private margins we're gonna call it now dot left equals zero remember to do this on your pain event if you haven't created the event yet go and create it now um, march dot top equals zero once again I'm just gonna go over this quickly you create the event by going here Go on the events and click on the pain event right there. Double click and that should be it. Take you right there. Uh, and then you go march dot right uh, equals. Although I have a feeling this may not fix our problem. I'll have to figure that out now though. March dot bottom equals this dot height. And then we have dwm this dot handle um, and ref comma ref margin so pass that by reference hopefully that is what we need but we'll find out now so I'm gonna run this on a different window because um, I personally don't trust um, this that's gonna crash now so unfortunately we had another crash so I want a small mistake that we made is well I made you guys just followed me is we forgot to uh, finish rendering of our device so basically we were writing over it and then on the second turn it was uh, trying to write over a device that had been cleared, so that's why we were getting the error. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna do our finish rendering. So finish rendering. So do that, and we're gonna go um, device dot end scene. That's important. I still don't know for a fact that this is fixed, there, guys, but hopefully it has device dot present. And and finally. Um, we, something we forgot to do, which is after this while loop, which is right here, we got to go this dot device or just device doesn't really matter dot dispose because we want to get rid of it, throw it away, thread over equals truesies. Okay, and that's what we need if we in, ca in case we want to start something twice. So hopefully this will work out for us if not we'll just cry so I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna run it in case it crashes I'll be on the lookout for it so I'm gonna go select calculator run and I believe nothing has come up has it can't see anything yet um, I'm wondering what is going what's going on I'm just gonna move that I chose calculator didn't I so I chose calculator uh, on on is on so we run it it's gonna try it again so somehow it's not equal to point of zero. So maybe our handle is not. At least it's not crashing anymore. It just probably means we have our coordinates set wrong for our drawing. So we've set it to zero, which is small. We run. It's on. So once it's run, let's ju check out what, what we've done possibly wrong here. So so we click run, run, selects run crosshair, which is fine. 
and then we've got that run uh, run crosshair. So run crosshair goes here, runs it. Uh, and I'm just going to check this out. Uh, <laughs> okay, then another error that I just found is uh, one here. So because I was doing this out of just well, I was trying to hurry up things, and I noticed something. So let's see. I'm going to show you this quickly. I'm going to run this. Just make sure I haven't got any breakpoints here because I was testing this just now. I was just running this, and um, and I found something. Look. Uh, it's better not cause any trouble. So go there, calculate run. So I noticed this. Can you see this at the bottom right here? There's a f uh, bloody. So if I move this up, as you can see, it changes. So I thought it immediately has to do with uh, the position that we're drawing the crosshair on. So it means that it has to either be. Um, if we go down here, it has to either be. I did. I did this wrong. I did the calculation wrong here, which I checked and I didn't. Or when I call the window rectangle, I'm putting things in the wrong place, which means. That I'd have to have put this bit wrong here, as you can see the rect. So I'm going to go up here, and if you look, I got. Um, sorry, this is my example here, and that's the one I'm doing it off. So if you look here, I did public int left top, uh, right bottom, whereas here I did left right top bottom, which means it's wrong. So we'll have to do um, left. We'll have to make it exactly the same as that one. So left, this one's top which means that top was becoming right and so on so we're just having two mistaken uh, places there so that becomes right and the last one's bottom so that should hopefully fix the way it grabs things so I'm going to minimize overlay there let's try this again hopefully I have a little bit of luck now uh, calculator run and there you go beautiful stuff as you can see that there let's see if these change that draws the same one over and over again so let's try and run, rerun that so yes yeah, drawing the same one all over again which means our crosshair is not being modified so that's probably something very simple to do so let's go back to the initial one and and say when you can double click here cross oh I see that was me being an idiot copy and pasting so I'm sure you guys noticed that you probably got to change by now if not just follow me three four that should be a five and uh, last one is a six so let's try this again quickly um, so choose calculator again red and which is another one there you go got a square got a smiley face got a predator square and thingy so change sizes uh, press 5 and f5 again so medium all you need to do now is one thing that we may have forgotten which is this so double click here on the index and all we need to do is just say update crosshair when you've clicked here so go update crosshair right there nothing special crosshair there you go that should that should be up pretty positive that we're done choose calculator choose any game you like colors uh, there you go beautiful you see the colors are updating nicely uh, let's go for black and that doesn't really matter large so as you can see we've got different sizes for everything beautiful stuff there look at that predator lights and um, medium plus large so these are all working quite nicely we've got green lime green got yellow got some purple on the go as you can see that's updating quite nicely as well so we haven't got any problems uh, go for red the default um, so I recommend you test this out mess around with it in game let's press F5 see if it's the F5 turns it on and off beautiful um, and yeah so that's a simplified version in my uh, in the description you should see my complex version which is a bit more um, extended to this uh, so feel free to download that and check that out uh, if you have any mistakes make sure you compare it to my solution hopefully you'll find um, you'll be able to fix it straight away otherwise please post on my forum um, I get a lot of personal messages every day I won't be able to um, help you out that way and in the forum I've got some good people there that help me out as long as as well as me I'll help out on the forum as well um, I hope you enjoyed this guys please leave a like uh, this was a lot of work and um, hopefully uh, you guys will stick around for the ESP tutorial which I'll do in a couple of days uh, maybe today I don't even know yet I'll have to record it and it's gonna be a long ass tutorial um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I'm just going to make sure I, I haven't forgotten anything. I've um, got my notes here. And, uh, yeah, so we've generated everything. We've pasted across here. Yeah, that's fine. So just uh, have fun using this. Uh, put it on whatever game you like. Remember, Windows Vista only. You know that by this point anyway. Uh, Windows 7, anything with the arrow. Windows 8 might be able to work on it. Um, and uh, only on windowed mode that's the only time this will work so if your game can do border borderless mode then you'll be able to work nicely with that um, so once again thanks for watching guys and I'm off see you later